So we have uh, the, the uh, gel separator. That's the most important equipment. Uh, and then you have you have a venipuncture set up. Uh, this is the needle that you're going to extract the PRP with. This is the adapter that you're going to hook up to the um, syringe that will hook up to this. Not included in the uh, Eclipse package are two 3cc syringes and two 30 gauge needles. And what I'm going to do is, I am. Uh, what they like to do is suck out the platelet rich plasma with one of their 10 cc's. And they put 6 cc's all in the 10 cc syringe and then you inject it with a 27 gauge needle in the scalp. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to suck out 3 cc's and 3 cc's so I have more control over this 3 cc needle and that's the one we in this, in this institution are used to injecting with. Uh, and we'll use a 30 gauge needle because it's just nicer for the patient. At the beginning of the procedure there is a folder that contains a variety of things. Okay, uh, The first one is a patient consent for medical photography. The second one is a consent form for the procedure. It has information about the procedure as well as the actual um, consent on the back. We have a note that already has what you've done uh, in the plan, so all you have to write is where they have alopecia and fill out the top part. And uh, Then there are labeled, there are, are, are stickers. And uh, what I'd like to do is for any one day, well, any one person, for any one day, you label three stickers with the name, the date, the date of birth, and the time. Okay, so, uh, I, you know, we're going to, you know, I'm pretending to do venipuncture. We, you pop it, the blood goes in, you take it out, and, you, you, okay, that part's done. I just took 22 mLs of blood, this is food coloring for the video. Uh, you put the name and the date of the patient on the tube. We're going to take it to the lab to spin. We turn the power on the centrifuge. We press the button to open the centrifuge. I guess it just opens. You put this opposite. This thing comes out. Okay. And uh, when you put it in, it's not important. But when you take it out, you have to take it out. Uh, like this so that you can rest it without um, disturbing it. This is balanced. They have four holes here. So you can put, uh, this is the balancing tube and this is the specimen tube. So you close it, you lock it, like so. Uh, and this is already preset to the 2950 RPMs and it's set for 10 minutes and uh, a break of three. Uh, so all you do is uh, press start. So you had to turn it this way. Now press start. And now the timer starts. Now it is stop. Great, so it beeps and now we can unlock the machine, open the machine, and now the idea is you take this out like this and you can rest it here. Once you take this out, you can, you can put this in the test tube holder, replace, the, replace that there. Uh, we've taken the, the blood from the centrifuge, it's all spun down, uh, and now we have to extract the uh, platelet poor plasma. The way we do this is you have this ring stand, test tube uh, holder, test tube rack set up, okay? You, you put the vacutainer as such and you secure it in the test tube holder, okay? So, and you want it to be so that when I'm ready to pull a needle out, when I pull this up, it's not coming up. I have a lot of force there, okay? So, so that's good. We have this very long needle that you open from the bottom and then decap from the top, okay? Uh, you don't want any air or liquid to reflux back into here. So if, if you are up here 
and then the vacuum refluxes it back, it'll create a turbulence that will make platelets come from the bottom where you just spun them, and you'd have to re-spin the blood. Uh, and that's an extra 10 minute penalty. Uh, so you start, you start with this closed. I like to put my pinkies on the ring stand uh, and position the needle centrally and then you push down carefully until you feel the give and then you position the needle to the middle somewhere a little above the middle okay and the idea now is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up the plunger and I again when I'm pulling up with this I can't if my thumb gets weak and it goes back down I've ruined it so you have to figure out what's good for you whether it's just your thumb or whether it's your fingers uh, or what have you but at no point in time must this plunger go up and then down so let's let's have at it and I'm doing it slow I'm not sucking fast I'm just slow and steady wins the race but don't go too slow because it'll go down on you you have to keep the pressure up to keep sucking the liquid out. And it gets more difficult as you create more and more of a vacuum. And now, I wanna pull it out with my fingers below. So, if a little bit refluxes back at this point, it doesn't matter. If turbulence happens at this point, I'm gonna be shaking this anyway, so that's okay. But if turbulence happens in mid-suck, then uh, you have ruined it and it comes out. Uh, and now you, you take this out and you one, two, three. Now you're ready to draw up your plasma, platelet-rich plasma. How do we do this? First, we have to attach the adapter here and we have to put this with no air and the adapter the adapter here. So now this is this is going to be able to suck out. And so what we're going to do is you're going to um, push this in and suck out three cc's. Or so. It doesn't have to be exact. All right. Let me put this back. You unscrew that, and you would now put on your 30 gauge needle. So this is ready to be injected to the scalp. And uh, the second harvest, again, whatever liquid is left, there's going to be a cellular portion here and a gel separator and everything. That's going to stay there, but this portion, uh, you want to suck at all of it because that's all good stuff to, to re-inject. Now you are left with, and notice how um, I, the cap is on when I push the air out. So if any blood spurts, it spurts into the cap and not to my eyes. Uh, now I have now I have two PRPs ready to inject into somebody's scalp. So uh, once you have the um, you know your your samples uh, ready, I, I think it's appropriate to label each sticker with each each syringe with a, a label. So in this case, we have Al Opisha, that's our patient, and um, that here's, you know, the name, date of birth, 2468, who do we appreciate, today's date, and the time. Um, and the other thing that I would say is, uh, as a point of interest, is I, I wouldn't... Um, I wouldn't do two patients at once because there's too much of a high risk of mixing up test tubes in the centrifuge. I would just do them in series and there's no chance of mixing up one person's blood with another person's blood.